In this video, we'll discuss the concept of network convergence and what it means to both the AV and IT industry. Traditionally, network convergence outlined the concepts for placing telephone, video, and data on the same network infrastructure. However, today's push towards the Internet of Things has created an influx of devices utilizing network technologies to share information. We live in a world where a network-connected refrigerator can email you a weekly shopping list. But unfortunately, just having the ability to deliver information using network protocols doesn't mean that a device can readily coexist with other devices on the network. The intermingling of different types of data transfers on a common network infrastructure is the goal of network convergence, and audio-video transfers via the network are in high demand. The AV industry realized the advantages of placing media signals on a network over a decade ago. Network media allowed for a decrease in cabling infrastructure requirements, while focusing on an increase in channel count and routing capabilities. However, it's quite interesting, and perhaps a little frustrating, that the typical AV system's interaction with larger building networks hasn't progressed much in the last 10 years. An AV system commonly places control and monitoring aspects on a shared building network. But as of 2017, there's still a push to keep media transfers contained within an isolated network. There is some justification for this. Control signals are typically low-impact transfers that are tolerant to latency variances. For all sakes and purposes, there isn't much difference in network impact between the controlling of an AV system and sending an email or downloading a file. However, media requirements on a network are a bit different. With network media, bandwidth requirements can increase, data transfers are a continuous stream, and low latency is a make-or-break function. Unfortunately, these network transfers often utilize a combination of protocols that is not understood or well documented. AV integrators have come to feel that requesting network media support on a corporate network can be a frustrating process. A diligent IT department will have a number of questions about facilitating this request. And oftentimes, this puts the AV integrator in an uncomfortable position. It may force the integrator to make a case for placing media transfer protocols on the network and even offer up implementation solutions. This is not something AV integrators want to deal with, and their view may be that it's simply easier to create an independent AV network. Now let's look at this from the IT perspective. Networks today are becoming more and more complex, yet they are becoming more and more utilized. An IT team's success is measured in the system uptime and positive user experience. Anything that can interfere with this success is going to raise red flags. On the other side of that coin, IT departments are increasingly being held responsible for every device with a network port in a facility. Convincing an IT manager that it's okay to place an isolated AV network in a facility is becoming just as difficult as convincing them to place media on their existing network to start with. They oversee network health and stability, so the idea of an isolated subsystem is not an appealing one from an IT management point of view. But even in situations where IT departments agree to facilitate network media transfers, there's a fair amount of network setup required to ensure the successful transfer of both media and data traffic. Adding media to the network is often viewed as requiring extra effort. Convergence in this case is possible, but it feels a little bit forced. Now this may sound like two industries clashing over what may appear to be insurmountable differences. So how in the world will we ever reach the dream of converged AV and data on a network? This is what we'll cover in the next video of this series. Thanks for watching, and be sure to visit our YouTube channel for more insights, tutorials, and answers to frequently asked questions.